Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden, and today we'll be checking out the Rammstein's Los live at Bercy, Paris 2005. Alright, so this was supposed to be the Wackerball version of this song, but the video I had saved on my list got removed because, as always, Wackerball is like the one show that no one's allowed to put on, on YouTube that's going to stay up forever. They always get removed. So, um, this is basically my next choice. Other than that, I don't really have any choices on anything, really. There's not very many uh, versions of this uh, on YouTube. So... Unfortunately, we have to go with the live at Bercy instead. Uh, I'm sure everyone would have preferred to have the Vucker Ball version, including me, but uh, this will have to do. So let's go. dog sleeping right until I started doing reaction videos and now he's attacking a cat next to me on the floor. I'm liking the acoustic start. Not sure if this is the usual intro or not, of course, it's live, sometimes it gets changed up. Quality is not as bad as I thought it was going to be for what it looked like. To actually hear him. So does, does Flake actually choreograph his dances or does he just do whatever he feels like doing? I'm sure someone can let me know. That's a pretty fucking catchy riff. Keyboard on the ground. It would have been cool if the bassist would have put out an acoustic bass too. Ooh, unexpected turn.
Is this extended live too? It's over seven minutes live, so I'm just curious if they've extended the song. I love that keyboard tone. It kind of reminds you of like uh, early, early Deep Purple's tones you get from that. That's sweet. That's cool. Oh, it actually breaks it, okay. Can't imagine how many keyboards they had on tour to smash on every show. That's it. All right, lyrics time. Okay, if it wants to load, come on. And while that loads, no, oh, of course it loads right when I say that, right? All right, so it goes. Um, we were nameless and without songs. We were never again really wordless. Still, we are a little songless, yet we're not toneless. You can hear us after a gust of wind began a storm simply matchless. It was time less. They were speechless, so totally shocked. Totally powerless, what happened, somewhat composureless, and surely understandingless. That will be censored, they said groundless, too bad about the music, so shameless. That should be forbidden, it's witless, what they're trying there, so tasteless, how they're making music, it is hopeless, senseless, helpless, they're godless. We were nameless, we have a name, we were wordless, the words came. Still we are a little songless, yet we're not toneless. You do hear it, we aren't flawless, just a bit anchorless. You will become soundless, you'll never get rid of us, we were less. Um, so this obviously, to me anyway, uh, comes off as describing them, is what it sounds like. Uh, it just sounds like it's a song about them, like people uh, are basically, you know, been attacking them most of their career criticizing them uh yet they're still here that's what i get from those lyrics uh here just so uh, we're clear before anyone has to mention it does say mentions of his acoustic guitars um a bougie electric guitar solo which i'm not sure if was part of that one there was acoustic stuff going on i didn't, I didn't really hear an electric guitar solo i heard the keyboard 
and harmonica. So all that's usually included in the song. Um, uh, where is it? But yeah, and then here they also say the same thing I said. Um, that it may describe the experience of the Amstein as a musical group, uh, which is exactly what I'm hearing. Right? They're talking. It says we a lot, which obviously makes it sound like them, uh, and it's just. I just, I like the wordplay. Like all, there's a lot of. I just find the song is written very well. This one, uh, a lot of them are, but just the the words they chose to use and all that. Just a lot of. It almost comes off as a poem, almost in a way. Um, Back to the song itself, though, I really enjoyed having an acoustic riff again. I think we've only, what, had one other one that I've checked out that they did acoustic. Um, I said I enjoyed it. Like, I mean, you put some of their heavy riffs on acoustic, uh, like this one, for instance, which you could tell would be heavy if it was on electric, which they showed at the end when they switched over to the electric. But it sounds really good on acoustic guitar. I, I, again, I really wish that the bassist would have had an acoustic bass too. I think it would have had like a nice tone to it. It would have fit perfectly, but yeah, it's not that big of a, a difference to ruin anything. I just think it would have been cool to see. Um, it's funny seeing the drummer off to the right hand side of the stage playing a tiny, tiny drum kit with his big one just in the back. It's just kind of like off to the sides if he's no, almost not even there. It's just kind of a weird choice of where to put the drums, I find. I don't know why. This, I find it like puts them way out of the way and you just kind of don't want to look over there because you're too busy looking at everyone in the center. Um, maybe that was the point, though. Uh, but it was cool. It's cool seeing him jump to a tiny kit through a lot of this. I noticed it happens a lot in the live shows. Uh, I think that's the third time we've seen him on a different kit, maybe fourth, where he jumps on a small one with the other guys to do certain songs. Uh, it's kind of cool because he still has a lot of uh, flair even though it goes down to almost a small... I like to almost call them jazz kits because a lot of jazz players like to, you know, use a lot of tiny kits like that. Um, you know, and they still make it sound like it's a big kit. So that's what I always call it a jazz kit for that because that's where I see it the most often. Um, but uh, but he still has that, that, that flair, even with his smaller kit. I like it. I like it when he has that. Um, other than that, I wish it could have been the Vucker Ball version. I think that probably would have been a better version. Uh, even though this one actually wasn't that bad, it was better than I thought it would be sound quality-wise and all that. So uh, not too disappointed, but really wish we could have done that version instead. Uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed checking it out with me. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. I'm also on Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. And as always, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you later.